Hi, my name is Maggie Wyman, and today I will be talking about Tom Thompson, who is a well-known Canadian artist. Tom was a Canadian artist who was active in the early 20th century. During his short career, he produced roughly 400 oil sketches on small wooden pellets and approximately 50 larger works on canvas. Most of his work consisted of landscapes, trees, skies, lakes, and rivers that really emphasized the beautiful Canadian landscape. Tom was born in rural Ontario. He was born into a large family of farmers, but he did not originally show any artistic talents. He was born on August 5th, 1877. He is the sixth child of 10 to John and Margaret Thompson. Many things throughout his short life affected not only Tom himself, but his art. There are many examples of change that had an effect on Tom's life, plus art. We will be talking about the key changes. One of the challenges Tom had to face came at a very, very early age. He had to be taken out of school for a year because of his ill health. He had a respiratory problem, which was weak lungs, but this also gave him much free time to work on his art. While he was sick, he developed a love for nature. This helped, discover, helped him discover his personal art style. A change of scenery helped develop style even more for Tom. Tom's family was not very successful at farming because they would often take walks and abandon their chores to go hiking and fishing and hunting. Tom loved sports and he once broke his toe while playing football. He was excellent at swimming and fishing. He inherited his passion from a ladder from his grandfather and father. Because he was born into a family of farmers with no artistic talent, once he got into Ontario's College of Art and Design, he was hit with the troubles of becoming an artist. Tom was a runner-up for the group of seven, and he was also self-taught. In order for Tom to become a professional artist, he had to overcome numerous obstacles, such as his lack of knowledge of the technical side of painting. Tom died on July 8th. 1917 at the age of 39. Tom's accidental death by drowning occurred at Canoe Lake. I decided to make my diorama off Tom's original painting called Into the Northland. I really like how Tom was able to create, capture some of the beautiful images of our Canadian landscape. The tree that falling over with all of the Orange leaves really represents the maple on our Canadian flag. To create my diorama, I started off by cutting a box from an old projector into four pieces. I then taped uh, three, no, four of the five pieces of cardboard together to create a shape that would make my diorama possible. I then went outside and started to look for branches that were broken off on the ground, leaves, rocks, and some grass. Because it's not fall, like shown in the original picture of Tom's, I had to paint my leaves orange and some of the rocks orange too to create the illusion that it was um, fall. To create the illusion of uh, the blue sky in the background going from, like I think it's showing that the sun is kind of setting, um, I used felt. I used three colors of blue felt that was a dark blue, then more of a turquoise blue, and then a light blue. Then I used black to create the illusion that it was darker on the bottom. I then layered my felt uh, across the back and added um, different paint strokes to give it texture and some movement to see that maybe like those, like the wind is blowing and it's making the sky appear more of like an um, what's the word? Ombre. In the painting Into the Northland, the trees in the painting appear to be birch trees, but around my yard I didn't have any birch, birch trees, so I had to paint the little sticks that I found white to create 
the effect that they were actually birch trees. Tom is very inspirational as he had to overcome many challenges to get where he was before he passed away. By Tom overcoming his sickness and showing everyone in the art world that just because you don't know everything at the beginning doesn't mean you can't get somewhere, shows his hard work and determination. To develop his first major painting, Northern Lake, in 1913, Tom selected one of his sketches from his trip to Alaguaquin Park and transformed it into a picture with greater depth in the foreground. This method of working from an on-the-spot sketch to a finished studio painting became his common practice. By 1915, Tom was creating the oil paint sketches and canvases that had come to represent Canada, as it is imagined by most Canadians. Nature was clearly his touchstone, and throughout his career, he turned to nature as his His method was to capture moments of light and atmosphere by sketching quickly in oil forms of nature, sometimes developing these sketches in full-blown full blown celebration. Tom's art is an inspiration for all Canadians. The way he was able to capture the Canadian landscape shows how talented he really he was. He overcame many challenges in his life and was still able to be successful. This shows me and people all over Canada and the world that hard work and determination really pays off. If you have a goal, you shouldn't. nothing should stop you from reaching it.